Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an RC car in the simplest way using a 20 ampere brush ESC and a Fly Sky i6 transmitter. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell icon to stay updated with my latest videos. To build this RC car, we need two brushed ESC, a FlySky i6 transmitter and receiver, and a 4WD car chassis. First, let's assemble the chassis. I have fast forwarded parts of the video to save time and keep things concise. Next, I will connect the power terminals of both ESC in parallel, this allowing me to power them using a single connector. I have attached a 3-cell lithium-ion battery holder along with a toggle switch for easy power control. Now, I'm connecting connectors to the left and right motor terminals so they can be easily connected to the ESC. After that, I will place both ESC on the chassis using double-sided tape and connect the motor terminals accordingly. Now, I will connect the signal terminal of the left side ESC to channel 1 of the receiver. And the right side ESC to channel 2. The receiver is then securely attached to the chassis. Since these ESC operates at 7 to 8 volt, I am using two lithium ion batteries in series and have connected a wire in the middle of the battery holder to achieve the required voltage. After inserting the batteries, I connected the power supply terminals of both ESC to the battery holder. You can now see that both ESC are receiving power. Next, I turn on the transmitter and navigate to the display mode. Here, channel 1 and channel 2 are not mixed, so I need to enable mixing. To do this, I go to the Elevon settings and turn on Elevon mixing, then long press the cancel button to save the settings. Checking the display mode again, I can confirm that both channels are now properly mixed. At this point, the RC car is almost ready to use. However, when I push the stick up, the left motors run forward while the right motors run backward. So, I need to reverse the channel 2 to correct the direction because the right side motors are connected to channel 2. Follow the necessary steps I'm doing. I successfully fixed the issue. And now all the motors move forward when the stick is up and backward when the stick is down. Finally, the RC car is fully operational. 
Let's see the final test run. Thank you for watching the full video, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting projects.